Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. Today we're doing a £30 mystery box from the Spy Shop and its contents is a little bit different to what we used to. Anyway, let's get in to today's video. So here is the mystery box, £30 mystery box from the Spider Shop, grab box, grub box. I was a little bit confused to what the spelling was on the front of it, but as you'll see in a second, it becomes a little bit evident. <laughs> I do love a decent mystery box and for 30 quid, yeah, we'll take that gamble. So we're going to pop it open now, check out what's inside, full of packing peanuts and I already see a container on the top. So what we'll do is we'll remove some of those packing peanuts and start pulling out what's inside. We will check out in just a couple of seconds exactly what these are. So we have one tub there. We have another tub. Now when I picked it up, it was quite a heavy box. And with these being full of substrate, that explains why it's so heavy. And they've picked out the final one just there. Look, absolutely awesome. Now, I've just pulled them straight out, so at this point, I'm a little bit like, what are they? Until I read what they actually are and go off and check. But this is pretty exciting project. So, Pseudo Cameronensis, one of the flower beetles. So, I was, a, I was like, I wonder if there's actual beetles in here, but then I remembered the name of the box being the grub, and we've actually got the grubs. So, these are going to take up to a year to pop out as adults. They will cocoon, they will put on tremendous weight. But look, we've got one, two, three, four, five. And up in the left-hand corner is actually a picture of what they look like as adults. Now, I did say five, but I did find another one. So we've got six, one small one, and five relatively larger ones. Fingers crossed that little one keeps up with its brothers and sisters. Absolutely awesome. Again, these are going to take around about a year to fully develop into adults. And then hopefully they will breed and have some more of these grubs. Um, I've not kept the grubs before. I never kept grub larvae or beetle larvae. I've always had um, like some of the adults in the collection every now and again. Um, but we'll see what happens with these guys. Really looking forward to watching them develop. Going to start weighing them in the next couple of days so I can keep a record. Just look. <laughs> they just burrow straight down and disappear into that substrate. Absolutely awesome. So that was the first grub pot if you like we're going to move on to the second one now and check these out these are temeserina iris um i do apologize if my pronunciation of these latin names is a little bit off but at least it come up on screen so you can have a go at saying them yourself but the substrate going through it now all that rotten leaf matter we want to be kind of looking for the hardwood leaves to go in with these guys quick sift through couldn't find any there at this point i'm kind of thinking is there actually anything in this box at all but as you see in a minute we do find some more grubs so there's another one i'll put those to one side there's three four and i think in total there's actually in six again but i th think i must have um, missed one or two but we'll put them back together put put the babies back in the substrate and check out what these look like as adults as well as. So there's one, two, three, four, five of these. And top right hand corner is what the adults look like. Absolute stunningly beautiful beetles. Again, all they need is the rotten leaf matter. So hardwood leaves is basically their diet. Absolutely easy to easy to look after, easy to care for. And these actually feel really, really soft. So you've got to be very gentle with them, um, especially when you're taking them out like I am here. But look, they just disappear straight down into that substrate and they'll just re-emerge as adults in around 12 months time. This next one, the third one, is the uh, Stefanorinia guttata. Again, I'm probably butchering that name, but at least I'm having a go. And it was up on screen for you guys to try and pronounce that one at home as well. Um, some of these Latin names can be pretty difficult and be an absolute mouthful to try and say. But look, these guys seem to be a little bit bigger than the other ones. So maybe these will emerge as beetles before the others. Uh, fingers crossed again, looking very, very healthy. And that's what the adults look like up the top right hand corner. Lovely metallic green with those white spots. Again, really looking forward to watching these guys develop. Absolutely awesome stuff. Um, again, I mean, I bought, I did buy some beetle grubs from the show, but we bought five 
um, but now we've got to have a lot more which is absolutely awesome really get my teeth stuck into these um, really easy to care for like I said previously just a pot full of rotting leaf matter and away you go absolutely awesome and just look at these guys burrowing down now I am considering splitting these up so they've got their own individual pots uh, so they can grow individually and independent of each other and then when they're adults I'll put them together and fingers crossed they'll um, mate and lay some more eggs absolutely awesome well, that was the £30 mystery box from the spider shop containing those flower beetle larvae and I'm very very excited um, to kind of watch them grow and then hopefully develop into those absolutely stunningly beautiful flower beetles. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscription button and as always we shall see you again on the next one.